Good, happy Friday morning, August 14, 2015. I'm Riley King, and welcome to the Riley King Newscast, right here on the Riley King Network. Let's get started now. First up, police, large amount of guns, ammo found after man surrenders. Dover police are investigating after they said they found a large number of firearms and ammunition following a police situation Thursday afternoon. Police responded to the Polly Ann Mobile Home Park around 4.30 p.m. after a call was made to police from family members concerned about a relative living at a home there. Family members told police that they were concerned about the man's mental state. When police responded to the home of the man, later identified as Alfred Goslin, 48, they said he was holding a rifle. Officers said Goslin pointed the rifle towards them. Main man leads police on chase through two states, authorities say. A main man faces charges after leading police on a chase through two states, according to authorities. Police were called to a home in West Newfield, Maine, where Kevin Fortnin, 29, allegedly caused a disturbance and then locked himself in a bathroom and threatened to harm himself with a pellet gun. Police said he also threatened to harm anyone who tried to intervene. When an officer arrived, Fortinin drove his car toward the officer's cruiser, according to authorities. Police said he continued into Wakefield, New Hampshire, where he led New Hampshire State Police and Wakefield Police on a chase before returning to Maine. He was eventually stopped by a spike strip near his home. Crews rescue crow from tree in hills. Burrow. Crews rescued a crow from a tree in Hillsborough on Thursday. The fire chief and workers from a tree service brought the bird down from about 40 feet in the air. The crow's tall nose were wrapped in fishing wire. The chief managed to cut the line and set the bird free. Manchester teachers respond to mayor's open letter to taxpayers. The Manchester Education Association responded to Mayor Ted Gastis' open letter to students taxpayers, and teachers Thursday night. In his letter, Gastis said the contract he vetoed would create a shortfall that would face the city to reduce the school workforce or override the tax cap. 
He also wrote that he is hopeful both sides can get back to work and negotiate a contract that is fair to all. Surfing with Smiles offers free surfing lessons to special needs children. Surfers from all over New England gathered in Northampton Thursday for Surfing with Smiles, a free nonprofit program that teaches people with special needs how to catch a wave. Tom Brady makes brief show in Patriots 22-11 loss to Packers. Tom Brady completed one of four passes before giving way to Jimmy Garpolo the, and the New England Patriots fell 22-11 to the Green Bay Packers in both teams' expedition opener on Thursday night. Hoarding makes Barnstead House fire tough to fight, fire officials say. Barnstead Fire Department said two people were hurt when a house known to have an owner with hoarding trouble caught on fire Thursday night. About 50 firefighters rushed to 55 West Lock Road around 5 p.m. The homeowner was able to get out on her own, but was taken to the hospital to be checked out for smoke inhalation. Last summer, crews removed dozens of animals from the house that the owner was allegedly hoarding. A.G. Sun shot mother had threatened to kill himself before. A man who fatally shot his mother than himself last year had threatened to kill himself before and had struggled with alcohol and prescription drug addiction, Attorney General Joseph Foster said in a report released Thursday. Twenty arrested in Laconia drug sweep. Laconia Police, with the assistance of police from Guilford, arrested 20 men and women on outstanding drug-related warrants Thursday morning. Police said they began the sweep at 6 a.m. Police said they expect to make more arrests in the sweep. Questions remain after deadly blast in China. When the wind blows in this Chinese port city, shared of shards of glass still remain down from damaged buildings. But many here are now more worried about potential threat they can't see. Pollution from the hazardous materials that ignited, sending a thawing cloud of fire and smoke shooting into the sky. And that does it for the Riley King newscast right here on the Riley King. Network. I hope you all have a great rest of your day. Goodbye.